Hi everyone, it's Crystal with Mrs. Fine Fettle and I am today going to show you a art slash craft idea um, that I've been doing for a while and it's I think the technical term for it is um, metal or in this case copper tooling. So um, this is kind of an example of uh, one of them. It's a um, you use a copper and it basically you punch out a design in it and um, in this case it's been um, had a patina put on it and for this it's just been covered on a cheap um, canvas so that is an example I've also this is the very first project I did Um, well, technically not, I'll show you, um, but this is a portfolio that I made um, to get into um, my college program for uh, landscape architecture, and um, so you can see the, um, I guess it would be called like embossing, embossed leaves, and I even, even put like my name in the back. Um, so I needed to come up with a creative idea for my portfolio and um, I saw a portfolio like this it was actually more of a picture um, album um, but it was uh, made with leather and it was done the same way and then it made me think of a project I did way back when I was in middle school seventh grade let me find it real quick because I actually put it in my portfolio for class. Here it is. So in seventh grade, I did the glare is probably bad, but I did this lion, and it's kind of the same method um, with the copper tooling. So if you're interested, I'm going to show you. Uh, how this is done and there's many things you can do with it um, from you know I've done like baby books for people um, photo albums um, just like you know like I showed you here this would be wall art you know any kind of design really so um, I'll get started I think um, what I'm going to show you today is just going to be like a little decorative piece to go on a gift. It's my mom's birthday coming up, so I think I'm just going to do something for her. So for this project, you need metal. So this is copper, and I believe they just call it copper foil. It's 26 gauge, um, and it's made by... The brand is called Mato Metal, and it's by St. Louis Crafts, so you can Google that to find uh, where to get it. This I also have in brass, but this is what it comes in. So this is also 26, or 36 gauge. If I said 26, I meant 36. Um, so, I don't exactly remember because this lasts you know, a really long time, but I don't think I recall, I spent more than $25 for this big roll, and I've had it for like, let's see, like seven years now, I think. So, it's been a while, so it lasts a really long time unless you're covering, you know, big binders like I did there. So, so you need your copper foil or metal foil so you could use brass there's aluminum other things but um it depends on what you prefer and also what kind of patina you're going to use i use a foam block um well it's not a block but it is cheap foam pad you can get from the craft store i like to have a sharpie and so 
all you need to do is cut out your foil. It cuts really easy with scissors. So I have a piece right here. And if you um, don't really care what the bottom side is going to look like, you can use a Sharpie. Or you could to put transfer the design on. That's what I'm going to do. So I just got a leaf from a Japanese maple outside. So I'm going to use this kind of as my design. So I'm going to actually go ahead and draw on this even though I'm probably just going to cut it out and put it on a gift. But um, I can use, um, I'll show you, like a steel wool and get the sharpie off later. So I'm just going to roughly trace this leaf. Okay, so that's a rough idea. <clears throat> so, in order to get um, the design to pop out, so the design will be popping out on this side, there's several tools. You can buy tools that are made for doing this, or you can just kind of scrounge around the house and see what um, you find, and I've done both. So. Things that I've used are like these type of, this is more for smoothing areas. I'll show you that, another kind of a smoother. Um, this is good for popping out and defining lines. And this is kind of another smoothing one. So I've used, what I like to use a lot is uh, like crochet hooks or knitting needles. Okay. So once you have your design marked out, you're going to use your tool. I am going to use this one. Again, you could use something like the crochet hook or even a ballpoint pen probably that was out of ink or something. So I'm going to use this fine line. And if you look at the leaf, you can see the ser serration of the leaf and I'm going to kind of just roughly do that. I'm not going to be able to have it as fine. So I'm just going over my lines, doing a little jagged edge for the serration of the leaf. And I'll show you after I get to here what's happening on the other side. So if you can see, the design is starting to pop out. So I'm going to continue around the rest of the leaf. Okay, so I have my outline done. I'm going to actually go ahead and just switch to this larger point and press in the lines, the veins of the leaf. Now, this, it really depends on how much um, relief you get on the other side by the pressure you give. So if you don't press very hard, it's not going to be very defined, but if you press very hard, it will be more defined. Okay, so this is what we have now. You can see the really pretty well, but it's not super defined yet. So what I'm going to do now is flip it over on this side. And this is when those smoothing tools come in handy. I'm going to use this flat one for now. Smoothing down the copper around the shape of the leaf that we have punched out through the back. 
And as you can see, it's starting to pop that leaf out even more. So I'm going to continue all the way around the leaf. Okay, so now here's an option that you have, and I've done both ways. If you can see, so the highest part of the leaves, or the, the design that's popping out, is those lines that we made. But this, the inside of this leaf is also raised up a bit. So you can have it like that, keep it like that, where it's kind of has some more three, you know, dimension to it. Um, or you can take your flattening tool and get in here and then and push that area down as well and define the lines that we created even more. Um, and I'll bring back those other two projects that I've done to show you. So that's how we're getting. So the difference would be this one I did not push down, so it's bubbled up a little bit more than the surrounding metal area. Then this one, I really did, you know, the veins really pop out, so I really smoothed this area as well as the outside. So it really just depends on the look you're going for. If, you know, in this case, the leaves and the veins and the serration are like the main focal point, so I think it's good to. flatten them down a little bit. Okay, so that's how we're doing. So if you saw that any of these areas you think that need to pop out more, all you have to do is turn it back over and just, you know, use a little more pressure and pop those lines out more. I mean, this is a very rustic looking um, craft anyway so it doesn't really matter so again I'm just redefining punching things out using a little more pressure <clears throat> okay so there we have it so as you can sell, tell as you can tell this is very shiny like a new penny so you can keep it like this if you want it to look like this way but to get this darkened patina you use a patina solution. 